shooting here in the opening quarter. Just under four and a half remaining. Curry goes back up top to Green, right back to Curry. Fakes, fires, and connects his first field goal. Now remember about Curry, he takes 20 shots a game, 11 threes eyes in the back of his head. They, if they don't like the shot, they'll make that extra pass again to open him up. The main thing is he's such an athlete. When we had him on Christmas Day, if you remember, he was shooting threes from the top of the circle, effortless. Curry with an effortless floater. Yeah. The floater, he'll take the floater every time, as well as the three. Close, narrow losses. Brogdon misses, fight for the rebound. Curry looking to come up with it, and does. And this is just good transition defense, except you can't leave him. You had a trap on him in the paint. McConnell keeps his dribble alive, kicks it out in the corner. Three-pointer won't go. And they come the other way. Justin Holiday misfires. Oubre down the other end and scores. Meanwhile, Justin Holiday gets us back on track with another missed three-pointer. We thought we had something going. It's Curry throws it back out the green. It has been a three-point disaster for the two teams so far. Curry gets inside. Layup is good. Yeah, you see, he's not afraid of contact. That's what I like about Steph. He went baseline, past one guy. Smart. When you come to the game and you expect outside shooting, mid-range game, from the foul line to the three-point line. You expect that because of the defenses. But along with that, both teams are five for 29 between them in the three ball. They can't do anything with him once he gets in the paint, Mike, six to eight feet away from the basket. He just backs his way down. Look at this. Nice drive to the basket. Ability. So I would like to see him get closer to the basket. Well, they beat Golden State in Golden State back in January. As Curry flips it in with the left hand. Just watch how he sizes everything up. There's the, there's the screen, but no roll. The roll is late. The double team, he goes and he splits another double team with Sabonis coming from the corner. And that's saying something, considering he's won two MVPs. Yeah. Curry drives, layup won't go. Looney with a one hand, nearly tipped it in, and Curry comes away with it. Curry flips it up and in. Now 15 points for Steph Curry. And there's his splash brother. Curry, only one of seven from three, but 15 points. Meanwhile, he came from the other side of the lane and then got a piece of that body to, to disallow the layup. Looney gets in. This time he's able to finish on a nice pass from Steph Curry. And Julius Randle for the Knicks. Zach Levine, Zion Williamson, yeah. and Jalen Brown. Yes, uh, no one deserves to be there. And the big factor is, is that when the coaches pick the players, he's got the potential because he's always been a scorer. He can score for it. No fouls to give for Indiana. Curry looks inside. Draymond Green, the layup is good. Now you're going to see this. There's the trap. There's the open man. Great pass. Good finish. Pacers now back within one. The largest lead. The entire game by either team is seven. They both have briefly had seven point lead, so this one's been close throughout. Draymond Green floats it up, layup, battle, rattles around, and goes through. Now, right now, Indiana's the last five possessions, very poor execution. Poor execution for shots. Oubre knocks it down. Kelly Oubre with a big bucket. And the lead is seven. That equals the largest lead of the game. Timeout, Indiana with 219 to play. Now this is just Oubre stepping up here now, making a key basket. He just had a bad shot on the long three. There he is in the mid-range. Get hot in a hurry. Big thing right now is take your time. Know that no matter what, Golden State, you have two timeouts and you shoot in the bone. And how about Pascal once again getting to the rim, throwing it down on a beautiful feed from Curry.